Mitch, um, good win in the end. Must be pleased. Every every result at the moment that we can get is uh, is pleasing. Uh, anyway, that if we can just grind it out or or say any way we can get three points at this stage is superb for us. Thought you came out, started well, got the goals, um, looked comfortable. Although they were they were never really out of it in that first half at all. I was absolutely fuming at half time. I thought my lads, uh, I would got to swear them, but I thought my lads were way below par. I thought there was opportunities that they missed. The penalty, I, I you know, I'm not going to blame Joel for missing the penalty, but I wanted somebody else to take it. I felt, uh, yeah, we was way under, way under what we needed to be. We could have had the game dead and buried at half time, being four 0 up. At, at three, we let a, uh, a sloppy goal go in and um, we missed a penalty. We have to be clinical. We have to be desperate to score. Let's get them across the line. Um, listen, we're missing our talismans of Nat Ansu and, you know, Tendai for what he was brought in to do. I thought Dodzi Agbenu today led the line superb. Absolutely superb. Um, so, yeah, I'm just really... Um, I'm really happy with with the final result and the second half. I was really really pleased with. Um, just shows you what a good goalkeeper as well uh, Elliot is. Basically nothing to do in the second half up until he made that save. Yeah. And yeah. then bang, just yeah. out of nowhere, it pulls off a really really good <clears throat> save. We're really blessed to have Elliot. Uh, he's had a lot of interest from other clubs, and you know he stayed loyal. Um, he's a he's a massive part of what we're trying to do and uh, our success is a lot to do with him also he's a clean sheet specialist not today unfortunately but you know the wind was a massive factor and I'm not going to say <laughs> not going to make excuses but the game wasn't the, the, the same game if it didn't have that amount of wind coming from right to left of the pitch you know it, it, it probably affected them a little bit as well they're, they're a football playing side but yeah Elliot Elliot, fantastic. His kick is usually on point and, and he, he got through most of the win today with it as well. And it was really good to see Sam Lockley out there get some minutes and, uh, um, you know, he looks he looked to do quite well, really, when he did come on. Been so unlucky. Our forward line's been unlucky, to be honest. He's been so unlucky. He's such a good kid. Works, work, works really hard. Got a physical presence, quite quick, great technically. You know, signed him when he was scored. I think he scored like seven in seven for Buckby, and he hasn't scored since he's been here. But I think he's only played four or five. If that, probably only played three or four. And hopefully, it's the start of now coming back to the business end of the season. Same with you know Natansu returning. Tendai hopefully only being you know bit bit less than what I, what I thought. Hopefully, only being two or three weeks away. And got some big games coming up, and we need big players, and we need we need lads to stand and be counted. Whoever that is, we need to be, make a burst, be stand, a stand and be counted. Sorry, my phone's absolutely going mental. It's um, it's it's um, ten in a row for us as well. Hinkley have dropped points today, first of the season. I want to thank my mate Darren Long at Cook. No, he's done us a favour. Uh, I, I really appreciate it. But it's a long way to go. Um, and yeah, we we're, we're it's getting a bit exciting now. And I guess it doesn't mean anything if you don't go and get a result at Lopeworth on Tuesday night. Yeah, it don't mean anything if we, we don't continue our good form. It'd be a tough place to go. And they've got a bit of needle about, you know, a couple of players assigned for us. It's a bit of a rivalry because how close it is. It's not for me, you know. I'm not, I remember I'm not a Leicester boy, am I? So I'll just see it as a game where I need to be successful in. And we'll try our best to, um, to, to do what we can to get a, a positive result at Lopeworth. OK, Mitch, thank you very much. We'll leave it there and we'll see you Tuesday. Thank you. Cheers.